Right, hello and welcome back. Now then, there is, ah, that's right, I do, it's all coming all too nastily back with some rapidity now. <laughs> like that, yes, I do remember. Oh, oh dear me, I only too well remember. Right, there is one thing that I would like to just say here, just looking in editing, um, I realize I was talking about Erling Grat and then I got sidetracked as I so frequently do. Oh, you can literally stop. Uh, oh, you are. Uh, I was talking about Erling Grat and when the Animal Clean mod first, uh, I first used it because I, I did actually try and find scripting methods and uh, other things to actually try and sort the problem out that caused me originally to go with Animal Clean mod, which I just could not place any animals, not chickens, nothing at all. Um, I don't know, I'm trying to sort it, mate. Hold your horses. Let's see if I can somehow get that through there, because that should not have done that. I reckon this might be a reset job. Which is, it goes against the grain, because I do not, for the life of me, know how on earth you could go through like that. Yeah, I started to tell you about Erlingrat and when I first moved from the original place to uh, to the new place. Uh, Yes, so let's see if I can stay on track for more than 20 seconds without thinking about efficiency so that I lose track of where I'm going in the conversation. Yes, when I first started to use the Animal Clean mod, uh, basically every single placeable that I used animal-wise had zero cleanliness from the very second I actually dropped it. So I just... I would have continued, obviously I didn't sort of, uh, I just, every single one I just didn't plant, uh, I just kept removing the animals and then I tried to fight every single last little mod and I was trying to concentrate on animals because I thought it would obviously be to do with animals, a modded uh, animal and I removed them all, added them all, added them one by one and I just could not get it to to settle so I looked around and uh, it wasn't on the mod hub it isn't a, a proper which is of course why it probably has got additional effects I did scan it for viruses in case it was malware as well it came clean so I started to use the animal clean mod uh, and obviously um, I hadn't done much silage by that time or else I might have thought things a little bit odd the fact that I did get grass turned to silage I just one day noticed Right, yes. So uh, I didn't really think anything of the silage thing because to me it just all. Oh, really? Came from nowhere. One of the mad junction drivers, no doubt. Right, I'm going to honestly try and uh, stay on track. Let's just move that train out of the way. Yes. Um, Get back on track. Stop. Focus on all the things. Yeah, so uh, I started to use Animal Clean mod, and, and then obviously from that point onwards, 
for, as I said, at least nine months. I think actually probably even longer, if I'm honest, but at least nine months. I'm trying to think when early, but actually came out. So I played on that map at least three or four times. Yeah. So it began, to me, it seems absolutely normal that the bail trailers... Uh, at first I thought it was only auto-load. Um, I did first... Oh, two loads. I did first notice on the uh, auto-loads that uh, if you put the bales on the bail trailer and went out, as in I didn't do it on purpose, it was just I noticed one time I, I saved the game, came back out, and knew it obviously... I was playing season, so I knew it shouldn't instantly, or so I thought. And I thought, oh, this is a, a, a trick of uh, perhaps auto loads that's not widely. I should have known better. I mean, how many content creators would know that trick if it was real? Anyway, that didn't cross my mind, and uh, obviously, the rest is history. I've come in, obviously, to this Let's Play, uh, talking about fairness and talking about trying to play by the rules and not cheating <laughs> when inadvertently playing obviously with that uh, that is technically a cheat even though obviously uh, not one that I actually knew about it was his sole purpose was to get me out of that problem with the uh, place called placing animals and the cleanliness thing so yeah it was I'm glad obviously now with Tesla with this I think to be honest it was that exact same uh, cow pasture by food farmer that I actually was using on the other to watch the track because it is one of my favourites um, cow oh, come on behind me again it? it's one of my favourite cow pastures for when you start up I mean it's uh, say you're limited to only 150 but that's still a decent amount of uh, cows when you first start it especially on a start from scratch there's no way you can afford to fill or buy 150 cows Straight away, anyway. Uh, you know, it seems to be one of those times where I things. You notice that when you get these times, you either get good ones where you get everything goes well, or bad ones where everything doesn't go well. I seem to be on one of the bad ones where everything doesn't go well. But anyway, that is my explanation, and also the finished story of early grats and first times when I noticed that I think I was placing chickens and this particular the food farmer um, cow pasture as well and just say could not get them so I could not have animals which used to drive me crazy because I uh, obviously at that stage um, I was I, when I first played the game I actually didn't do animals very much at all I literally did um, this is another story I've touched upon as well. One of my favourite maps that I absolutely loved, which is not a very widely um, used one, is Sudbury Meadows. I absolutely loved that and I first started by, as I said, I half explained this story. I sold all the basic equipment, uh, sold the farmhouse, which is actually on that map worth quite a lot, sold all of the uh, starting fields and literally cashed everything in and then bought the forest next door which I think it's about 500,000 900,000 I think you got by the time you cashed in you got about 1.5 million every last little bit of equipment and I, uh, I think to be honest with you because I, I'd not got much money I, even after I'd cashed in I, I think it's 900,000 just under a million actually and I got just over a million, 1.2. So I've got enough for tractors. And at that point, I didn't use many modded tractors. But it was one of my first forays. Let's do an awful lot of that in the background. It's one of my first forays into. Um, word brain gone on holiday. I am thinking on this. I'm concentrating and trying to think of. Whoa. Forestry. That's the word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm no, I saw you lights. Yes, one of my first forays into forestry. So much that I absolutely, I do love forestry. I really, really do. Um, the game mechanics, not so much so. But yes, forestry, absolutely love. Especially, obviously, when you use the uh, Scorpion King. Um, yeah, in fact, actually, to be honest, it is the Scorpion King that is my personal favourite. Uh, out of that and the... Uh, 
racing, oh, racing, really well. I'm not so keen on that, it's got a weird stretch, the Scorpion King's got a really long reach for, and I really did use that to great effect, what am I doing, why am I coming into the field, not the PGA, now I'm going to have to flip round, oh well it's going to test my driving skills I suppose, that is tight, I'm a bit too close to that left hand side, right yeah, that's use our brain. Yes, forestry machines. Yeah. That the Sampo Rosenlu. I don't like the reach on that. Uh, Komatsu, I have tried. I've hired them, um, to be honest, all of them at different times. My, I do love the... Um, Oh, I've not actually got the right mod installed. I've got the special edition, uh, normally Scorpion King. I've not done any forestry in a long time, actually. But I've got to be honest, one thing that very much gets overlooked is the Buffalo Duel. That is my absolute all-time favourite forestry machine when you flip it around. But another one, which, again, I have seen Mr. CLP use this, although I have got to be honest, I saw this before that as well. I actually love using the Liebherr. That is an absolute excellent uh, forestry machine, truthfully. So again, that actually is another one of my uh, Buffalo Jewels. But what I used to do, I'm not, not forgetting this time, I'm just going around in circles a bit. Yeah, on that particular map, that first one, Sudbury Meadows, my first attempt at forestry, I literally stripped that forest. It's quite a large one of all sort of trees. Where am I going? It's weird at night, I'm losing track of where I am. Right, yes, I stripped the forest, literally, and it's very hilly. Um, not that that's my point. What I'm trying to say is, I... Uh, yeah, that was that is one of my... That's not shy. That is one of my all-time favourite maps. Uh, but, again, it's just the lack of season support. I tried to have another go on it. A while back, but anyway, I am getting to my point. The bottom line is, when I first started, I did forestry uh, enormously, and I, to begin with, I tried to use the cranes. Uh, I tried to use the cranes. That was one of the first maps I tried out. Oh, the built-in map, um, the American one that comes with the game, which my brain is deluding. It's it's late. Um, Anyway, you all know the map I'm on about. That one has got the horrible gnarly trees, the oaks and, um, and the beaches, I'm not sure. But anyway, those particular trees. And they are a nightmare. I'm using cranes on them as well. The crane mechanics in the game is absolutely awful. It truly is. I didn't know anything about using uh, anything else. Um, like Mr. CDP users, uh, front loaders, or anything like that with certain grips. Um, is that a car coming down? get on one that way. Yeah. You didn't know anything about using that or using straps or anything like that. So literally, I've got the crane. And it drove you crazy because it's just so. so awful to use the crane. So then, of course, I found an auto loader and that seriously helped me on my um, first, that particular first one on uh, on that map and I, I never looked back and literally I think I stripped a forest and earned about 1.5 million and I pretty much owned most of that map uh, then, but my main focus uh, for the first six months was all arable is my real point uh, literally it was all arable Yeah, I didn't do much animals, so say it was uh, only when I went to the, uh, I think about the early ground, I think you got the cows at the beginning, and I thought, mm, actually, I quite, I tell you what, I am missing part of it. I used to play the base game, didn't play seasons, and then obviously there does come a point when you learn, when you rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, and I, like most people, you go big and you can get the biggest harvester. I think what I got it was the class expansion. 
got one come out and I absolutely love their massive harvester so I bought two two of those which are nearly 500 grand each and then the headers are another one so I, all of the money I bought on the forestry the 1.5 million I literally just sunk it straight into oh, you're gonna you're gonna cut the one because you're gonna cut me up Yeah, so I literally spent the 1.5 million that I'd actually gained straight on expensive tractors and just went big and... So as I say, it was a long while later that I did any other kind of animals than horses. But horses, what I used to do, my favourite trip, was I did a start from scratch. It wasn't very challenging, but at the beginning don't know good ways to make money so I did I used to buy the 16 horse pastures that were 500 grand find one of the smallest fields on a map uh, literally sink the uh, all-in-one so I could literally get every single thing a horse needs a few small trailers and I literally just sped up time uh, and got 800,000 from every single time that I did a 10 day cycle in horses and I'd probably some repeat that two or three times until I got about 2.4 million and then I'd just like go mad on buying lots of equipment uh, going big straight away buying a few big fields and then literally just arable 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 and obviously still horses as well to bring in extra money if I needed extra big pieces of equipment so Although it's good, it's a bit like anything. You sort of like can overdo something. And again, I did say I've explained already. I used to seven um, solar panels, and you're earning an awful lot of money from your solar panels. You're earning an awful lot of money from your horses. And to a degree, you sort of it wouldn't have mattered what I did arable-wise because I'm just four grand, four thousand liters of digester, I think in there still, I'm going to leave that for another time uh, I'm not going to go for that let's turn the lights off yeah, so you, you find different ways, don't you that are a little bit more challenging And it, I hated seasons at the very beginning absolutely hated seasons with an absolute passion about half eight, that should take us two um, because I didn't understand it like uh, most people were, oh wow, just look at that. Yes, I think we can definitely afford the field. Right, we've paid off a loan. I'm just reminding myself, I know I have really, so this is just, yeah. Wow, 291,000. Oh, of course, it's late autumn. It would be dark this time in the morning. Let's go and have a look at that field. Still not on the growth cycle. I could have sworn it was late autumn when this actually. Ah, there's one more late autumn than the six. Of course there is. I think it does. But that's surely got to be in the growth stage at some point today. No, that's not never going to turn in one one day, is it? To from harvested to growing and then to actually ready. So I think I'm out. So, the only one we can do then is probably this one. The only biggest fear with buying this field is... It's the uh, pylon in the middle. Oh, well, no. It, if it is, I think it's one way you can actually go through it. And it doesn't actually... I'm sure on this map, Greenwich is one of those maps where it treats it as a, an object you can go through. I'm sure it is. So, we're going to buy this field. Oh, wow, that's useful. That's still there. as well right so yeah this will be the last last bit of grass that we can hear that um, actually harvest this year I think unless I am wrong and it is tomorrow where it does turn around but I found that really doubtful to be honest I can't imagine in one day unless the growth wave starts later today and then we do get a proper one but I don't know I'm a bit doubtful so anyway mowers where are you? Actually, I know what we ought to do. Got a minute, have I not? Yes, I have. 
standing in the wrong place. Oh, right. Animals come first, definitely. So let's go and sort them out first, and then. I don't know really. It's not like they're going anywhere, and it's not like 10 minutes is going to make much of a difference, is it? That's my trouble sometimes. I do a job where it would be better to get a job underway and then go and do the other jobs because you've got the jobs underway. The only trouble is when you've got two mowers. It often makes very light work of a field that size. So if you're on a big field, you can leave them. Oh, I need to do the sensor as well. Yeah. I'm trying to think if I finish my story. I cannot concentrate on two things. It's, a, it's rubbish. We did wood cutting for A's and going big and some of my favourite uh, tools, the buffalo jewel and also the oh wrong one, let's do that one. Woof 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 nothing to get in. Yes, uh, I'm sorry, I hope to get better at this, truthfully. It's weird, it is an art um, that obviously, uh, like some Mr. Silly P and uh, Dago in there, have obviously got very good at over the years, whereas this to me is a, <laughs> a brand new skill, actually. Talking at the same time I was trying to do something, you can tell I'm not really at the very best at doing it at the minute. So I'm hoping with a little bit of practice I uh, will get a little bit better. But, um, yes, so we did animals. Let's get a uh, bit explain about early rats. Yeah, and then as I said, ah, I was, I know where I got to. Seasons, uh, literally. Um, I did. I absolutely detested it. I really did. But it really was down to. Um, I think it's an actual a normal human nature thing, to be honest. Something you don't understand when you've got to grips with something like the base game, and then you try something that's really complicated. Because it, it is obviously really complicated. But like all things, it is only complicated because you don't understand it. It's a, a bit like precision farming. That's another thing. I absolutely hated precision farming with a passion to begin with. I really did. I did try it. I, I did try to learn from my mistakes with seasons and thought, yeah, yeah, let's give this proper time. Let's give it a proper chance. And I did, and it was so complicated and, and like, I just thought, well, there's no game from this at all. It's just extra work. And, but, Funny enough, it's not. It's you just think it's that normal human reaction of like um, you don't know it. You really just don't know it. So you like let's just try, let's try and go through that part. See if I can go through the pylon. Yes. Right, smash it. Right. We do need to buy the field though. It has got a point. So. Yeah, as I said, precision farming, seasons, hated. 
Uh, and obviously, as I said, I also explained my base game to begin with. I literally, the only animal I ever did was horses because I'd got the horse helper mod. I did do horses before that. I used to do the very small enclosure and I would have three horses that took 15 minutes a day. So that is all I would do. Let me just concentrate on this for one second and I will be back with you, hopefully remembering where I am. Get these going and then I will be back. So, what I should have done, you know, really is got rid of all these field tunes. I should do this. No, I'm not say that. Just forgive me for one minute for tabbing because this is. Oh, I forgot to do what you're doing now. Okay. I do apologise for that. Uh, I didn't follow up fancy chasing in the rain. Anyway, yes, I am nearly there, honest. It's a bit, it's like anything, it's my point, is when you first do something, you can only handle the basics. Um, as you get better, a bit like cosplay, to be honest. Uh, I absolutely love cosplay. I've delved and delved into cosplay over the times. I've hated it, but uh, I've loved it, and then I've hated it again, and, and it, as you do. But bottom line is, it is a fantastic thing, and it has got some steep learning curves. I've tried to watch a few YouTube videos. But I do absolutely love cosplay now, and I am beginning to the, get to the point where I always used to set up the. Just get a little bit of a line to go into the drive through guys for music. Yes, uh, cosplay, I'm beginning to get to the point where I'm using more than just the basic settings, you're using the, the race track and the spiral uh, because for certain pieces of equipment the going the up and the down just don't work they really don't right, let's go and get yeah so again just the same as with course play it, there was a time when the base game I felt it was time to uh, dig a bit deeper to try to get a better grip on things and it was then that I found the challenge of just seasons but it was, it's such a nightmare. I found it, you know, especially when you're beginning, you've got no fields and it was hard to make. If it wasn't for the fact that I got, uh, again, I was limiting the amount of solar panels I got. I wanted it to be a challenge still. But it was still so difficult. It truly was. Right, I need me. As I say, you do want a challenge, so I tried seasons, hated it, but did persevere. Watched a few of my favourite content uh, creators, Mr. CDP, watched them do seasons. But I still thought, there's got to be a better way with seasons. And also, I love the start from scratch, that challenge of starting with very little bit. With seasons, that was just an absolute nightmare, starting from scratch. What, with one, one arable field? 
really? Buy one arable field and some small harvester and then take seven years? I thought, this is just, no, there's got to be a better way. So again, it was, I scrapped my horses, because horses on seasons are a completely different beast and the animal, the horse helper does not work on seasons. I tried to do a few scripts, but then I thought, do you know, I'm glad in a way it doesn't work. Let's just try and actually do something where Well, we just try things. You know, you'd sort of like delve from that, oh, let's do these basic things that I know of, to let's try... In a second, let's just turn out the course. Yeah, the field centre malarkey, the up down the racetrack and the spiral, each one of those, I have not only just started to play around with those. I think Spiral actually is one of my uh, favourites. That works really well for the long baler. Uh, or is it the race track one? Let's just, let's just do a test. We're not going to lose anything. See that's, I like that Spiral. That is nice. That actually goes around so almost like in a zigzag. You can just see in the middle. But it's not a big enough field to actually show you properly. Lands is another try that. Race track. The field's not really big enough to do it do it justice to see. You can't really see, so let's just do normal. Walk down. drives around the field nonchalantly and yes I do know this for a fact because I have finished the track and then had to do it all over again because stupidly it literally does nothing. I'm going to crash into each other. 20 metres, uh, should avoid each other but I'm a little bit lucky. Not into Right, let's go and get. That's the other thing about course play. As I say, uh, they have spectacular clashes. Well, you've seen a couple in the Let's Play <laughs> where uh, they'll drag someone around a field with them, uh, and if you could, they would be decapitated. Because they just literally. I've seen massive tractors that literally drag little ones around. But it's just so powerful that it's just unbelievable, really. But yeah, um, it's. As I say, it's all about progression, and even as a sort of farmer yourself, as in, you know, an FS farmer, uh, the tricks you learn, the growth that you have as a, um, a person in yourself, and different strengths, different weaknesses. Yeah, so I say it was time for seasons, and um, I did try, I did play with precision farming did sort of try and see where I could go with with um, seasons uh, and with my favourite sort of game start which is start from scratch um, and discovered two routes the cow route or the silage route literally not, not exactly by design it was just that it, it obviously came to me that with the grass you actually do crops multiple times, just the same as if you were to do the rinse and repeat of the normal standard base game. So my so my sort of uh, delving into true seasons and a start from scratch start was sort of uh, begun. And then you just refine the skill set, don't you, truth? And you just keep on practicing. You keep refining your tactics. Oh, looks like a Mexican standoff. Yep. Okay. 
Okay, come on then, let's just play nicely. Go on, let the uh, lady through. And then this is another sentence. Current waypoint. I might not know where he got to, but that young lady does know exactly where she got to. So use the current waypoint, drive course. And she sure would catch up with where she was, and she's going to poke me in the head. Not very nice these drivers sometimes. That's the reward you get for helping them. Yeah, so anyway, we're going to get to the seasons. Yes, literally, seasons. I had a delve into precision farm and found an absolute pain in the backside. But, funnily enough, had another go, watched Mr. CDP a little bit actually with precision farm, and I think it was on. Let's play. No, actually, it was Mr. Silipi's tutorial on precision farming that uh, confused the hell out of me, if I'm honest. Like a lot of people, it was so the rules. And I must admit, just like Mr. Silipi, the paying of the money to keep doing your fields and the imperfect circles, I thought, oh my god, this is ridiculous. I've got absolute holes in the fields. Either I've got to overlap them, which is a nightmare, and pay six million. I know I'm exaggerating. Six million pounds per doing a field to get every last little bit of data. And then, obviously, I found the class crop sensor, which was fantastic. It cost you just to buy the thing, do perfect scans of the field, just waltz around your field, get your sensor data with that one piece of equipment, and it's much easier. There are certain bits of precision farming that obviously are really good. And it was those. This I'm going to learn from my mistakes at field 19, only doing one heading pass. I'm going to go for two. And I'm also going to do the spiral again. And that's not still eight. We're also going to learn from the 8.4 that seems to not quite work. We're going to go for 8.2 and 0.3 of a metre. We're going to literally lose this by and see if that actually works better. Quickly save the game in case anything goes wrong. It should be the last. It should be the uh, Q lady. Let's put you on the sidelines for a minute. Some nice pack corner patches. Still, I haven't forgotten the fact, and now that we've got 146 grand, truthfully, I am seriously thinking about sheds. I know we've had a look, but... I have actually found a couple of sheds that I do like the look of that are narrow, but I'm not 100% sure that one of these fields actually isn't a bad, is a good place, but I want... I always think strategy in farming simulators is another thing that's very much overlooked um, as you sort of get more and more of that. It's a bit like when I said to you guys about the, um, the placement of the container. I seriously think uh, placement of mods is really important. It, it can literally make or break a lot of things. I'm not 100% sure though that I was right in my... You've also got to consider turning circles on these fields. Now corners are a little bit different, but around the edges, sometimes placing a container has actually got me into trouble. 
so I, I, it's not always a good thing and I think as you go in the gate there's lots of times when things like this, these long beasts, when they go so close to the edge that I think the container might get in the way so it's already, the reason I put the container in that corner was because the slurry yard had already made dead space so I, I still stick by that and think that actually that was probably a good decision to switch the lines on because I think it's doing a 2.5 We're going to need the help of the Volvo, definitely. And when we come back, we'll pick those pairs up and drop them and move back and we'll move some of these out because otherwise they're going to make a right mess. Yeah, so, yeah, let's switch those lights in. Yeah, so Seasons Precision Farming, refining of tactics as you all, as everybody does as they develop. Uh, this game, although you would think sometimes that I was a totally useless green farmer. I do have my moments of being that person with my driving skills, but then there are like anything, so I, it's a bit like you go rusty. I haven't done any uh, uh, wood cutting uh, proper serious for an awful long time. I've actually favoured um, the easy life because of sometimes the mechanics that struck myself. Because of the manics, uh, mechanics of, uh, I find it a little bit stressful, even though I enjoy it, uh, my job's stressful enough, and it's all about, to me, is relaxing, so sometimes you go for the easier option, I know you can do auto loads, but to be honest, uh, my favoured thing now, is I've done, I'm doing a uh, Let's Play No Man's Land, another one I might add, I've done lots uh, over the years, it's just make sure that settles, uh, I'm doing another one, and I've, this time I've started with a, um, a start, the actual square of where the shop is rather than the I start from scratch obviously rather than halfway across the map where you've lost half of your uh, thing to the lake I actually lose half of my square original square with the shop but I have a huge advantage of being right next to the shop so buying things repairing things I don't need to worry about because I've got them at the shop itself uh, cell points, the basic cell points are, are there, so a big advantage and that was part of my what I was saying about placement of mods and things, I, I, I've sort of forgotten but sort of am coming back to it Fastest, I don't want to 